Hi everyone, it's Margaret and I am doing a really special tutorial today focused on eyeliner. I've been getting a lot of people asking for different types of eyeliner looks so I got really inspired by all the requests. So I'm going to be doing different series of eyeliner looks. So this is my first one. This is more retro inspired and I think that um, if you really see the kind of design that I'm going to be doing, it's really from like the 60s, um, kind of uh, Audrey Hepburn era. So definitely try it out. It's still very relevant. I mean, you know, a lot of our our inspirations nowadays come from a lot of the retro looks. So this is definitely something that's very classical, but very now. Um, so when you're doing something like this, you really want to make sure that you know, I find, especially for like if you're doing a bridal look or if you're doing something that you're going out for a special event, you want to make sure that when you wear this type of eye makeup, you want a very good coverage of the skin and you want to make sure that everything looks really even and flawless. So I'm going to take um, a very strong coverage on this on the face just to make sure that the eyes really pop out get all the demarcations out of the skin and just really create a nice clean palette so um, here we're going to you know make sure that I am focused primarily on the eyes when I am really focusing on this look but you know I want to make sure that you all know how important it is to look at everything not just the eyes and so I'm gonna really you know really emphasize to make sure that you lay the groundwork down before you even actually start doing any kind of application so here I'm just setting the makeup and really getting everything looking really even and I want the the face to be very matte so I'm gonna set it with a very uh, neutral matte uh, translucent powder using my wedge sponge and then I'm taking my complexion brush and just really evening it out and blending everything in and mattifying the whole face so here we go so I'm gonna take my pearlized highlighting powder and I'm gonna even out the crease on the on the lid and I'm gonna go right on the brow bone as you can see right here and just really emphasize the lift of the brow brows okay so using the highlighting powder you want to really emphasize putting the brow bone um, the highlighting powder on the brow bone and I'm gonna bring also the highlighting powder in the inner part of the lid like that just right off the tear duct and then right on the whole lid of the the half moon and I'm gonna just pull it out and it, it's it just looks like I have it all over which I do pretty much but I don't have it on the crease line and see how I added more white on the inner part and then I'm gonna add some white on the outer and this creates an optical illusion so now I'm taking my very fair contour color with a straight brush right there straight flat brush and I'm gonna go right in the crease of the the line of the of the eyes the inner middle crease and see how I'm taking that and just using that as a shade so I'm gonna take now my black I'm actually using black powder believe it or not and I'm using a very intense black powder and you can use definitely a pencil you can use the gel liner you can even use a liquid liner but I find that using uh, black powder pigment powder really for me I have a lot more control some people may beg to differ but watch the design that I'm doing on this so see how from the inner lid on the lower I pulled it down and then I went straight along the lash line and then I tucked it down and out and so now I'm going right on the top lash line and I'm going right across the lash line and then at the end I'm gonna perk it up just so that you have a little bit of an opening and that gives it a little bit of a kick and then um, you want to make sure that you design this really appropriately so now I'm gonna go right at the end and I'm gonna thicken the inner the outer line kinda of going in from the out just to give it a little bit of a kind of an angle and then I'm gonna give it a nice tight kick again and so you're gonna have because I'm using powder I'm gonna go over it over just to add more payout and add more pigment 
but see how this is creating a nice angle to the eyes and you want to architect this really really well so now I'm going to go right on the inner part of the lid and keeping the line very very thin so from the inner eye I want to keep a very thin line then I'm going to graduate it up in an angular aspect and then kick it out so now I'm taking some of that light powder and I'm going to go right in between and just to give it some separation so now I'm going to go with the contouring color and I'm going to go right underneath the black line on the bottom lid and then now I'm going to go back with the black lid black liner on the bottom lid and just really kind of define the the line so that it really gives it a nice tight crispness so I'm gonna go back in with my contour color and see how I'm just kind of defining those little areas just to create a little bit more dimension and look at that you can really see how that's really created a nice retro feel to it and with the brows you have to make sure that the brows are really nicely angled on this so I'm taking that same contour color and I'm going to use that on the cheeks and just give it a nice intense little but not too intense little um, color to the cheeks so now I'm gonna take my highlighting powder and I'm gonna go with a flat foundation brush actually because this I find that this I could actually lay this really well and to add more um, payout to it so I'm gonna take that right above the cheekbones just to open the inside of the face and then I'm going to go right on the mid temple and then right along the the head the head of the the eyebrow area and then I'm going to just dab it right on the cupid's bow just to give her a little bit more fullness and create that optical illusion of fullness on her lips and so this is definitely creating nice optical illusions and now we're going to use black black mascara now if you like my techniques and you are interested in learning more and also or interested in becoming a makeup artist I have online training or you can do an in-person training or blended training check out www.mkcbeautyacademy.com it's a great way to get certified it's a great way to learn it's a great way to learn how to do pro level makeup definitely check it out and if you also want to build your portfolio I also have a portfolio building workshop if you're a makeup artist and or a hairstylist or a model that needs more pictures to build a portfolio so check it out www.mkcbeautyacademy.com and if you're a YouTube subscriber you get 50% uh, off on online training so definitely subscribe and then click on the site and you will submit your application and give them your username for your YouTube subscription and then you will get your discount applied so here we are at our last aspects of the eyes now I'm really adding as much thickness to the lashes and I want the lashes to be more focused in the middle because I want the line of the black line to really kind of you know draw out a little bit more so now I'm just gonna go here and just do my final touches and then I'm gonna go and do my final white line in the water line and this is definitely gonna create a nice openness to the inner part of the eyes and this definitely will create a nice uh, finished look to it and so now I'm taking my Bl uh, not black I'm dark brown powder for my brow and I'm just grooming the brows to the natural shape but really I want a nice kick in the arch and one thing that you know when you're working with um, uh, these types of looks you want to make sure that the eyes eyebrows are really groomed and the eyes have a nice architect to it to really uh, shape the eyes perfectly to the face and make sure you use a good brush to blend and you want to make sure that the eyebrows are tweezed nicely before you finish doing anything you know um, to take pictures or anything you want to make sure everything looks really good so I'm going to use this uh, creamy nude color beigey color lip it's very similar to the um, the contour color but it has a lot more of a, a cream kind of matte feel to it and I love this look because it really um, 
really draws the attention to the eyeliner. And this is really all about the eyeliner. All the other stuff is more of an accessory. But look how beautiful it's it's turning out. And and when you have also thinner lips, you definitely want to use um, a lighter color. Darker lips tend to make the lips smaller so I really feel that if you want to make your lips more plump this is definitely a secret is use a color that's gonna definitely make it more open light opens up remember that so here we go thank you so much for watching I hope you try this out this is definitely a look that's gonna take some practice but definitely check it out practice and if you're not a subscriber please subscribe and stay tuned for so much more to come I have a lot of different looks coming up Thanks so much. Bye.